all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the medium type problem called shifting letters its index is 848 of the lead code okay so this problem is really very simple one and it involves simple operations on array or you can say the suffix sum or you can say the operations on the strings okay so without wasting our time let's discuss this problem we have been given a string s of lowercase english letter and an integer array shifts having the same length as of the given string and let's call the shift operation of a letter is exactly equal to the next letter in the alphabet wrapping around so that the z becomes a you can easily understand that if we are going to shift a particular character let's call it as a by an x amount we are going to shift it to the clockwise direction that is from a to b c and it goes up to z and if the value let's say x is going to be greater than the difference from a to z or the current character to the last one then it will cyclically shift to the next character that is then it comes again back to the a if you are not going to understand this let's look over this one suppose the character is a and we want to shift this character by two amount then it becomes uh, b and then it again becomes c okay and what about when we have a particular character a and we want to shift it back to 26 like we are going to shift it by amount equal to 26 so it will change this to like uh, 20 uh, again it will change back to the a because uh, after the 25th operation you can see a changes back to the z and in the next operation it changes back to the a so overall if you want to shift a character let's say ch to a uh, new character by an x amount let's say then what we are going to do is first find out the ASCII value of this character so ASCII value of this character would be like uh, okay it would be like the if you take on a single quoted comma it should be like this one and uh, let's find out the let's say this CH character is C and uh, for this C you are going to find out the what is the difference of this character C with respect to the low, uh, base character base character is A Okay, and let's say you are going to find out the difference in ASCII values like C minus A and it should come out to be I think 2. Yes, okay, so it means that with respect to the base character, this character C is 2 amounts ahead of it. And if you want C to shift by X amount, then what you are going to do, you are going to write down 2 plus X. And after shifting it by an X amount, you need to take by modulus 26 because there are 26 letters and it will come back to the again to the same position where it should be okay and let's say x is like let's call it as again 1 then you can see i need to shift c by a amount equal to 1 so it should become 2 plus 1 mod 26 where it should become as 3 so it means that the new character will be 3 ahead of the current character base character which is a so it should be like a to b it should be C and it should be D. So it means that D is our answer. Okay, we need to take modulus 26 because X may be large. Okay, so okay now shift of I like there is a shift array and we need to do some operations on the certain character. Like if we have been given shift of I exactly equal to X, we want to shift the first I plus one letters of X exactly X times. Okay, and we have to return the final, ish, final string after all such shift to s are applied. Okay, so let's try to understand this problem with the help of examples. Then we will together build up the best solution for this problem. So let's move further. Okay, so let's take a simple example. Let's call the uh, string as abc and uh, shift array is given as a0, a1 and a2 are the values that is being given to us okay according to the problem statement what it says that if we have been given the a0 it means that ai in general we are going to write it as ai if uh, for a given value of a and this is the shift array actually ai we are going to increment or you are going to shift all the characters all the first i plus one characters note that i is zero over here so i plus one is one so we are going to shift first i plus one characters by an amount exactly equal to a0 now you can see that i is 0 over here so it means the first one characters that is only a okay so i am going to write down some stuffs like this one let's make a three sized array and this is for the first character 
and this is going to be shifted by a0 amount right now okay now let's talk about the another character a1 sorry another value a1 so in general if ai is given to us we are going to shift all the first i plus 1 characters by an amount exactly equal to a1 okay now you can see i is 1 over here so first i plus 1 characters it means first two characters yani these two characters okay uh, that is a and b so it means that uh, this uh, uh, like the first one is already shifted by a0 now it is going to be again shifted by a1 and this is now going to be shifted by only a1 okay now let's talk about the another last value that is a2 now if ai is given to us first i plus 1 characters is going to be shifted and you can see that i is 2 over here so i plus 1 is 3 so it means that first three characters is going to be shifted by an amount exactly equal to the a2 you can see that these are already shifted by a0 plus a1 now another value is going to be added which is a2 and here also it will be added as a2 a2 and the final one it should be added as a2 finally now there is a pattern that you can see over here and you can see the very first position have the value of the shifting as a0 plus a1 plus a2 and the second position has the value as a1 plus a2 and the final position has the value as a2 you can notice that it is actually the suffix sum of this shift array if you find out the suffix sum of the shift array you are going to get this value at every position so it means that if you have been given some uh, like you are already finding it out the shift suffix sum of this shift array then you can easily perform the shift operation for every character and find out the answer at every position of this uh, final answer string that is the last string is going to be shifted by a2 and the second last will be shifted by this a1 plus a2 and so on you can do that note that we are going to do from the back side of this array so let's try to analyze the code now i have already submitted the code let's look over that you can see that there is a, like a one two like around 10 or 9 lines of the code you can see I have taken now as 0 which will hold the suffix sum. I will start it from the back side of this array and first I will find out the current suffix sum of this ith position which is now plus shift of i mod 26. I need to take modulus with 26 because uh, I need to deal with the only the first 26 character that is small a to small z. There is no need to store the characters for the larger ones. That's why I have uh, taken with modulo 26. Now I need to find out the new answer at this current position which should be find out the shift operation total shift operation will be like s of i minus e will be the current position of the current character with respect to the base character which is a plus the shift operation note that now we'll be holding the total number of shifts that will be happening to the current character and if we are done with that take modulus with 26 because so uh, that is a cyclic rotation okay and if you do uh, like if you do perform the cyclic operation 26 times uh, forward then you are going to get the same character that's why we are taking the modulus over here and if you had, uh, if you have found if you have been finding out this value then we are going to increment or you are going to find out the actual value which will be stored in our answer it should be like uh, position of uh, a plus this value it will redirect you to the same answers that we want for the current position and finally return the s which should be our answer so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video